Washington Post is reporting that Fidelity Investments, with its quarterly retirement analysis, has discovered the same thing that we already knew from the Ramsey study of millionaires done a few years back, the largest study of millionaires ever done. The title is of the article is Move Over Crypto. A record number of workers are becoming millionaires with their boring 401ks and IRAs. I love to hear this news. The more boring, the more excited I get as an actual investment strategy. So here's what it says. Meet the newly minted millionaires next door. They didn't put all their money into Microsoft-type stock that made them rich. They didn't take a chance on speculating in crypto with its crazy volatility or start a business that they sold to some billionaire. No, these are government workers, civil servants, educators, military folks, managers, co-workers clocking in just like you. And uh, many never earned six-figure salaries, which we found in our millionaire study. One-third never had a six-figure household income in a single working year. And so in its quarterly retirement analysis, Fidelity reported that the number of IRAs and 401k millionaires hit an all-time high. That's impressive. There it is. And not shocking. 401k millionaires. By translation, they had over a million dollars in their 401k. Uh, they may or may not be actual millionaires, depending on how much debt they have. But because uh, you're, you're an actual millionaire is what you own minus what you owe is your net worth, your assets minus your liabilities. But assuming that they don't have a bunch of other debt running around, they've got over a million in their 401k, they very likely are millionaires. And that's what we found. We found that the uh, typical millionaire, uh, it took them 12 to 15 years to get there. Uh, 89% did not inherit the money that made them a millionaire. Did not. Nine out of ten did not. That's actual facts not your broke brother-in-law who votes left-wing's opinion. This is actual facts by actual airtight research. Okay, so 89% did not inherit the money that made them a millionaire. And we can actually prove that with the largest study of millionaires ever done. Now, having said that, then, we say take tw the average is 12 to 15 years to get there. We had two primary components to their net worth that caused them to be, get their first $1 to $5 million of net worth. One of those was a paid-for home, which we found that the average millionaire pays off their home in 11 years, and the other is their retirement account. And so when you add those things together, when you've got a paid-for home and you've invested 15% of your household income into 401ks and IRAs, it's amazing how quickly you get there. In the span of your lifetime, it's a blip. And 79% uh, of millionaires in our research reach millionaire status through their employer-sponsored retirement plans. So yeah. this is not a theory. It's uh, pretty simple, guys. Pretty simple. Uh, it, and it is kind of like the uh, like the article says. It's a bit boring. There's really nothing uh, no, nothing you get to brag about to There's your no friends. There's no adrenaline rush. Yeah, you're, you're, brag, you know, you're playing golf or you're fishing with your buddies. You don't get to brag and say you did something really brilliant. All you did was just steadily invest. And pay off your house. Ding, but ding. Then I can't watch crypto over the weekend 24-7 go up and down, up and down, which Bitcoin just had another cry, a crash. No. I know. Not I'm sorry again. to hurt your feelings, Dave. Oh, I hate it when I'm right. Do you? Not really. That was sarcasm. <laughs> I sensed a little bit of that. I actually don't want anybody to lose money. No. I'm, I'm, I'm not wishing for someone to get hurt. That is not. That is the truth. I'm but it's really the not. crypto bros who think but Dave's with, out of touch. And they have been wearing me out too so giving me a hard time I'll wear, like i'm an idiot all over social media because you know once you join the crypto bandwagon you're like oh yeah you know it's just it's like you've we talked about this at the building wealth event dave the people who are into crypto are really into crypto they're obsessed they're trying to sell all their buddies on crypto and so we came to the conclusion that cryptocurrency is just mary Kay for young men but you don't get the pink Cadillac. That's upsetting. No pink Cadillac. Maybe in the metaverse they have a digital oh, version. Oh, a virtual Cadillac. You can get an NFT of a Cadillac. Yeah. You can get a picture of it. you don't really have a Cadillac. Well, it's a virtual I ownership. I know, but you don't really have one. I'm it's just a saying virtual ownership. means not really. The next it, thing, Dave, this is going to make you If I virtually send my wife flowers on the anniversary, I don't get anything. I'm just saying. She's not going to like this. It's not going to be a happy day at Ramsey, okay? I virtually sent you flowers, darling. That means I almost did it. Yeah. I think the next trend is going to be NFT timeshares. It's a sense of ownership <laughs> of a sense of ownership. In the metaverse, you buy the timeshare. So we can both live next to Snoop Dogg for one weekend at a time. This is, I, this is not a far future, Dave. I think I'm a, 
I'm a fortune teller. <laughs> oh, Y'all. this is a redundancy, redundancy department. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're losing our minds. Oh, we're going to get <laughs> an NFT timeshare, a sense of ownership of a sense of ownership. That's how that works. Oh, uh, that is what the timeshare people tell you. You have a sense of ownership, which means you don't really have ownership, but you kind of can get a whiff of it. <laughs> yes, a whiff. I like a that. A whiff. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> this is the culture. Oh, this is what we're up against, Dave. Lord Jesus, help us. Oh, you're going to do an a NFT timeshare next door to Snoop Dogg. I lose brain cells every time I read headlines like that. Well, if you were next door to Snoop Dogg, you might be <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Can you get secondhand smoke in the metaverse? <laughs> I'm going to Google that. Can I get virtual <laughs> secondhand? <laughs> that is a Google search uh, waiting to happen. <laughs> Oh. oh, what a time to be alive. Did you mm. ever think in your lifetime this would be a reality? Because you've seen a lot of stupid stuff in your day over 30 <laughs> years, but it's getting out of control, even for you. Hey, man, I had, I mean, no, no, I didn't have any idea. This is, um, I, I, I actually didn't think the internet was going to work. So you were one of those. You went, oh, this is a fad. It's like, you want to spend $5,000 and build a website? What? This is when it was first starting, you know, oh, with, yeah. with dial-up, right? 14-4 hookup, right? <laughs> I remember those days. I wore out those God, AOL going, free trial hey, discs. Hey, Dave, you got that internet? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got that internet. <laughs> and you had to either use the phone or use the internet. See, yeah, I'm, not that, exactly. I'm not that young, it's like guys. like your fax. Yeah. You, had a, you could fax stuff. Before, I walked before up Before there was email. Ways. Yeah, man. When I got in the real estate business in 1978, we had these things called fax machines. Oh, we were members of ERA, Electronic Realty Associates. Yikes. And we would send over this magic machine black and white pictures of a listing in another city. And it would print off. It took it about four minutes to print one page. And uh, it was an electronic And transfer. people were buying real estate Long, based off of that? Oh, no, they would they would agree to come look at that piece of real estate with you. They did they were not dumb enough to buy it off of that. that That's what's that, happening. The dumb today. enough to buy it off of that happened later. <laughs> <laughs> and they're coming uh, from other cities where they're so desperate to buy a house. I haven't even seen it. I'll buy it. <laughs> Sight unseen, no inspection, no appraisal, don't care, hundred thousand over asking. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm just in a bidding war. Oh, We've lost our minds. Ta-dum, ta-dum, ta-dum. Uh, yeah, so, Do they teach critical thinking still in school? Is that it? There's no class on that, right? No, we don't teach thinking anywhere in the in the United States. It's we don't think anymore. Uh, so we used to have like arguments and debates because we didn't have Google to solve it. Oh, you can't that's even have true. a good fight now because somebody Google's the answer. It's me. He's talking about me. You and Rachel are fighting, and I go, guys, it was 2018. And you go, well, we were having fun arguing. Why would you have to go and ruin it? Yeah, because Rachel and I do have fun arguing. So. If you want to be a newly minted millionaire, according to this article, it is backing up the details that are in the book, Baby Steps Millionaires, and in the study that is outlined in the back of the book, Baby Steps Millionaires. Now, if you want to be a billionaire, it's a different formula. You will not become a billionaire with your 401k. It's mathematically impossible. But a billion is 1,000 million. It's a lot of millions. So just in case you were wondering, you're one thousandth of a billionaire when you're a millionaire. Wow. You're just a peon. You're not even close at that point. Yeah, you're just a peon at that point. But you can have a great life as a millionaire. You don't need to be a billionaire. That's the good news. A greater life than if you don't. There it is. Perspective. That's what we needed. There we go. Thank you for using your critical thinking skills. (laughs) You still have a few brain cells left, Dave. Turns out. I'm, I'm worried about... This uh, sense of ownership of a sense of ownership next to Snoop Dogg with secondhand virtual smoke. I'm just worried about this whole this whole line of thinking, George, has got me upset. Well, the only way to make money there is if you're the one selling it. So get to selling some NFTs, Dave. I'm going to have to. Hard pass. Hard pass. There you go.